Johnny Rod, a former bassist from King Cobra and Wasp, and I'm here on this day in metal. Uh, on this day in metal, man, December 8th, 1957, I was born. It's hard to believe in it. I can't even believe it, man. It's like, uh, but you know, the cool thing is that Phil Collin, guitar, you know, guitar player from Def, Def Leppard, he was born on December 8th, 1957. Same, not only the same day as me, but the same year. So Phil, man, happy birthday! Hey, remember that? Uh, remember that time we were in Amsterdam together at the studio? <laughs> remember that, man? And you guys were uh, you guys recorded Hysteria, and I was over on over there with Wasp. We were doing with Iron Maiden, and you guys took me to the studio that night. Shh, don't say anymore, man. <laughs> and December eighth, man, nineteen sixty-two, Marty Friedman, ex guitar player for Megadeth, he was born five years five years younger than me. I just saw Marty uh, back in August this year. Kicked ass, man. He was playing with Jordan, my friend Jordan. Played with King Cobra, and uh, um, so I just want to thank Marty that his birthday, uh, his birthday, December. I can't believe it. And Athena Lee, you know, she plays drums for Femme Fatale. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> Femme Fatale. She was born in December eighth, nineteen sixty four, and I remember Femme Fatale. Hey, Lorraine, Lorraine Lewis. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Wait, boss, man, look, boss. It's, it's a. December 8, 1973, this day in metal. Man, Corey Taylor, the singer for Slipknot was born. He was born on December 8th, my birthday. I just, I saw them well, a couple years ago, man, I took my stepson to see Slipknot. Slipknot and Slayer and, and, uh, and Motorhead. Uh, Lemmy was playing, man, he was still like, that was like, uh, I think it was 2011 or 12, one of them years, but, uh, but man, I can't believe, it. I got some story about Lemmy A, man, when, when Lemmy came to see us in, in London. Me and Lemmy got drunk at the bar, we had to pick up Chrissy Hine because she fell off the stool. <laughs> Anyway, December 8, 1979, man, Motorhead released their, their de debut album, On Parole. I think, I think Levy lived on parole his entire life, but you know what, man? Um, he was in a band called Hawkwind. Before Levy was in Motorhead, started Motorhead, he was in a band called Hawkwind back in the, 70, in the 70s. I remember seeing them. They were like a psychedelic rock band. They were pretty, I, I liked them, man. It was 74, 75. Anyway, but that was uh, Levy. I can tell you crazy stories about Levy. But anyway, man, December 8, 1986. Tessa released their debut album, Mechanical Resonance. I ain't gonna say anything about it because my friend gets mad when I make remarks about certain things. So, but that was. <laughs> and then on December eighth, this is a sad one. December eighth, two thousand four, uh, Dimebag Daryl was killed. Man, he was killed. Uh, I can't believe he was killed on my birthday. You know, uh, that, that was a great loss because they were a great band, man. Vinny Paul, all them guys. You know, but uh, anyway, man, uh, I'll see you all soon. You know, keep watching, man, for the rock out. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Got it? Yep. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> yeah.